Taurus. Welcome back to Shea C. Tarot. If you've been with me before and for those of you brand new, welcome to my channel. I appreciate you being here so very much. And as you can see, the sage is still smoldering away here for your reading. It's burning strong. So that tells me you've got some pretty strong energy going because this has not gone out at all okay that's great i have the healing stones surrounding your reading as i always do you can't see them right now but they're all around here um what i've done is this is your uh sneak peek at the week okay so your peek at the week reading and so what i've done is i've meditated on the energy here for you this is your energy the smaller traditional rider weight and the larger larger traditional rider weight is your love interest energy and i want to say that the energies can't go vice versa so just remember that and also remember that everything is in divine timing so with tarot things can happen in a week this is a peak at the week, but it's the energy of the week. These energies can carry over to months later, three months, six months, a year. Um, some things may already be occurring. Some things may have already have occurred, and sometimes it can crisscross, and I can, I can you know, feel the energies of somebody very close to you. It can be a mother, a brother, a sister, uh, a child of yours, whatever the case may be. It's going to resonate a little different for everybody else, but never force a reading to fit. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start shuffling first, and then what I've been doing is cutting the deck and seeing what comes up. Go ahead and check this out. You can hold this away from your ears. If you're wearing earplugs, you may want to, while I'm shuffling, pull it away for a minute, okay? For Taurus, please. How are they feeling about their love interest? What's going on? What can you tell us about Taurus? And what does Taurus need to know? Please, spirits, thank you. Okay, so let's cut it. Okay, wow. <laughs> Taurus, way to start the reading. Some drastic change is about to occur, but there's a great deal of love here. So this may be a seriously very passionate love that you're feeling for somebody or somebody's feeling that for you. But I did meditate on your energy, but it can crisscross over or you could even both be feeling this way. But this is something like whoosh, happens out of the blue and then there's this beautiful overflowing love going on. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Uh, let's see next one wow okay this is the most passionate night of the deck now that doesn't only mean that this night is passionate it also means that he or she is very driven very focused and they go after what they want okay yes they are also very passionate but it's because they are so driven that they are so passionate they're confident they're going after what they want what I feel that you're wanting is teamwork collaboration you're wanting to work together you're feeling a great deal of love for somebody you're very passionate you're very confident and you're going after what you want Taurus and you want an equal give and take okay and there's overflowing love and this could happen all of a sudden interesting so either this is someone coming for you or you are going for them that's how i'm feeling but let's keep going here and then i'm going to start pulling the actual cards one more okay one more and then we'll go for your love interest energy let me know what's going on down in the comments section taurus i'd love to hear from you guys it's always awesome to read your comments Oh, two cards wanted to drop out. We'll read those in a second. Okay. This is about clarity. This is about truth. And this is about honesty. Okay. I feel like either you're looking for honesty, truth, and clarity, or you are bringing that to someone with a great deal of passion and love and confidence and with a force of nature, I want to say, with that tower there. That's how it's looking. You are a force to be reckoned with. That's how I'm feeling. That's what I'm seeing. We'll see what's going on here. The two cards that popped up for you, we will pull in a minute. We're going to go for your love interest energy and see if you are matching one another. Let's check it out. Okay, Taurus. Taurus's love interest. What does Taurus need to know? How is Taurus's love interest feeling about Taurus, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Taurus's love interest feeling about Taurus. Okay, that one wanted to drop out. Okay, let's check it out. They have you on the mind and you are their wish, Taurus. This is about marriage. This is also feeling um, the Hierophant is you, Taurus energy. They're wanting commitment. They're wanting their wish to come true or they're just, you are simply their wish. And that's what I'm seeing and that's what I'm feeling. Nine of cups, that's full of love. Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer with a Taurus, a water sign. Doesn't have to be. It could just mean they have a great deal of emotion for you. You are their wish. 
and you are Taurus and this can also be about commitment so there you go that's kind of nice Taurus's love interest please that would be lovely wouldn't it <laughs> she's just wanting to drop out oh my good did you see that we'll show you in a minute just a sec all right <laughs> For Taurus's love interest, please. How are they feeling about Taurus? Oh, for heaven's sakes. Okay, stop. Some of these we may have to pull in the extended because there's too many dropping. You, Your love interest has a lot to say and you had a lot to say. Okay, I don't read reversals. <gasps> Lovers and Wheel of Fortune. Two major arcanas back to back. Brutal and beautiful. This is lovers. This is a deep love soul type of twin flame relationship. And I don't say that lightly. And the reason why is we have the hero font and the nine of cups, which granted before with Taurus, you. Okay. But it also speaks about commitment. And now you have the lovers card major arcana that's a love choice a decision the wheels are turning wish granted with you taurus commitment love this is awesome wheels turning in a forward direction it's extremely positive and guess what taurus you're on here too this is the four fixed signs leo aquarius scorpio and taurus and this could be a gemini okay so somebody may have gemini in the chart doesn't have to be it's not about the signs it's about the energy and this is lover's card that's a deep soulmate twin flame relationship and i say that because the hero font was before in the nine of cups now we have the wheel of fortune this speaks volumes to me this is the angels guiding this union trying to bring these two people together and that's why the wheel of fortune here this is something that is fated destined to be without a doubt this is beautiful i'm not going to go any further on that we need to start reading some cards. All right, let's check it out. Now, I'm going to do pick a card with the angel cards too. I'm going to do one, two, three cards here, and you're going to pick a card at the conclusion of this. And then we're going to go over to Vimeo. So if this resonates for you, fantastic. Even if it doesn't, do me a favor. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe. It would mean the world to me and my girls. Okay, let's get started. So your first card out, Taurus, besides all those awesome cards, do we really need to go any further? It's a queen of wands. What was I saying about being passionate and driven? You may have Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries in your chart, but I feel that you're very driven. You're very passionate. You're focused. You uh, know exactly what you want, and you have a great deal of confidence, and I feel like you're going for it. Yeah, that's a good thing. Ha! Strength card. This is another major arcana saying from the universe you have the strength and you have the courage and i feel like you may be taming your passion almost like you're taming this lion here okay you could be dealing with a leo or you may have leo in your chart you could be dealing with a fire sign they may have fire in the chart you may have fire in chart you may both be just feeling very passionate and driven right now this is about taming the beast taming the lion you know having some kind of self-control but you're very confident and you're very driven you may be trying to tame that passion. That could be. And that love. Six of Swords. Interesting. So you may have been through a battle of some sort. And you're putting down your swords. And where you were before was very rocky. Uh, it was very uh, stressful. And so you're putting down the swords. And you're going, heck with this. I'm, I'm moving forward to calmer waters. These are calmer waters. And you're not looking back. You're, you're wanting to move forward to a place of calm and peace hope this resonates if this isn't you it could be your partner that i'm picking up the energy on all right next one ready <laughs> your love interest had a lot to say because one two three four five six cards dropped out now normally i wouldn't take that but with the way the cards came out when i was doing the deck and splitting it and how like in my face those cards were and the power i felt from them was very high energy so i'm feeling like I had to take these, okay? Oh, this explains it. Knight of Swords. <laughs> Look how fast that knight's going. Fastest moving knight in the deck. This knight is a no-nonsense knight, okay? They think very, very quickly. Sometimes they think so fast that they don't really think things through. They just, they go for it. They want something, boom, they go for it. Just... I'll worry about it later. I'll worry about the consequences later. So your partner may be thinking about this. You love interest. doesn't have to be your partner. You know, um, it, it, it's, they're just, they're driven. Okay. They're very intellectual. 
They may have thought things through ahead and then all of a sudden they're ready to charge forward. This person is ready to go into battle. Whoever you're dealing with, they're, they're ready for battle. Whatever that can be. Can be Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, but it does not have to be. They may have air in their chart. They may have Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini in their chart. Next card out. Nine of Pentacles. Your love interest is very abundant and very nurturing and very self-sufficient. Um, they are, what's the word? Independent. Your person is very independent. Okay. They like to do things on their own. Okay. There's Nine of Pentacles is about money. That could be Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Again, it's not about the signs. I'm only reading the signs for your benefit. This is generally someone that enjoys, you know, being alone sometimes. They're quite happy just to go out on their own, go in the garden or go to the lake. And, and they're confident. They're happy. You see that? That woman is all by herself. And it doesn't matter, female or male. And they enjoy being on their own sometimes. So they don't have to have anybody if they don't want to. They're self-sufficient. They're, they can be happy on their own because they're confident on their own. Wow. <laughs> Feisty and confident. Brutal combo. The star card, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, but the star card is also about healing. It's about wishes coming true, following your destiny. Okay, I feel that your person is following their destiny, following what their wish was. You remember we had the Nine of Cups out before, the Wheel of Fortune, the Hero Font. That's all about commitment. That's about the wheels turning and afford positive favor. That's about a fated, destined um, union with the Lover's card. Now you've got the Wish card, another major arcana. This is destiny. They're following their destiny, destined to be with a soulmate. Okay, your person I'm feeling is very driven. They're ready to go into battle. They're very confident. They're quite happy to entertain themselves whenever they want to. They're abundant on their own. They can stand on their own two feet. They're self-sufficient, okay? They don't expect anyone to take care of them. They're with you because they wanna be with you. And I feel that you are their wish come true. You're their soulmate. You are their destiny and they're following that path. And the universe is guiding them. This is destined to be with a soulmate. This is their destiny, and it is guided by the universe, especially with that Wheel of Fortune, the Herald font, and the lovers showing up in that pre-cutting there, okay? The Emperor, another major arcana. And remember, this can go vice versa, but the Emperor is also someone who is very driven, okay? So this could be you that they're thinking about Taurus. Aries, Taurus, that's who I tend to think of when the Emperor is there, but again, this person is a fatherly type of figure, someone who is driven, okay? They go after what they want. They plan, they plan, they plan, they think, they think, they think, and they do, and they do, and they do, okay? They are a doer, okay? So there's someone with very strong fire in their chart, possible earth, air, doesn't matter. The point is that this person is a go-getter. I feel you both are, okay? Now, the fatherly figure, the emperor, is someone that crosses her T's. They dot their eyes. Again, they're very, you know, driven and focused. Look at those eyes. You see how focused this guy is right here? He's like, <laughs> he's like, Phew. look at my eyes. And you'll go into my trance. I'm, you know, and this person is, is very, very focused and very driven. And they're a planner. So your person could be planning to go after their destiny, their wish come true. They know that you're their destiny or vice versa. Both, I feel this is both of you because in your pre-shuffle as well, the Ace of Cups. Okay, let's pull the next card. Oh, wow. Another major card of the world card. So this is about completing a goal or life lesson or actually taking a physical journey. And again, the four fixed signs. You are dealing with another fixed sign, either a Scorpio, an Aquarius, a Leo, or um, another Taurus. It's very possible. That's how I'm feeling. It's come out twice now with the four fixed signs. So you definitely could be dealing with one of the four fixed signs. This is about taking a journey. This is about, again, destined to be with a soulmate. Because this is um, going on a new journey toward what your what your path is. You've completed a life lesson. So the universe is saying you did you did everything you were supposed to do. We're going to reward you now. And we're going to bring you forth to your destiny. Okay? Whatever path you were on before, 
This is about completion. This is about the universe giving you sort of a, a brand new slate and saying you can go out now and do what you want to do. You've completed your life lesson here. Okay. Beautiful. Ah! This came out again, the Harrow font. There you are, Taurus, in your person's reading. They're thinking about you or they're thinking about commitment. They know you're their destiny. This is also a spiritual leader with the Harrow font. Okay, you may be very spiritual or your person may be very spiritual. They may be a spiritual leader of some sort. Or they may just want commitment with you. They know that you're their destiny. That could be. It can go either way. Wow. Okay, I'm going to pull a couple more on your side. And then uh, we're going to do the pick a card. For Taurus, please. Why is the strength card here for Taurus, please? What can you tell Taurus about the strength card, please? Clarify the strength card for Taurus. Woo, this is a heavy reading. It's been heavy for you lately, though. Ooh, are you stuck? You're... I feel that you're feeling st stuck. Okay. Wow. Okay, we have the Nine of Wands. So you may be feeling, again, I want to say this can go vice versa, feeling very guarded or protecting yourself against something or someone. It's the Nine of Wands. It's Leo Sagittarius or Aries energy again. You may be just like protecting your heart, kind of just kind of keeping a watchful eye. Uh, or just, you know, um, yeah, defending or protecting yourself against someone or something. It can be against your love interest or somebody else. You were just through a battle according to this card here. Whatever battle that may be. It can be anything. It can be business. It can be love. But either way, you're wanting to move on to a place of peace and calm. So you may be guarding yourself now. like, And that would explain why you have the strength card here, which is what I was clarifying. It's because you're having the strength and courage to kind of guard yourself against someone or something. Okay? But you definitely have the strength here you've got the queen of wands which i feel is your energy coming off or maybe you're guarding and protecting yourself against a leo sagittarius or aries i will clarify that in the extended but you have the magician the magician says that you have all the tools available to you to be your own leader to to take control of your own life okay much like to me the emperor okay you are in control of your destiny. You cross your T's, you dot your I's, you figure out what your next move is. Okay? This is about manifesting what you want. Okay. I'm going to pull over this next card in the extended because I want to do the pick a card. And I'm so far behind on these readings. Okay. Let's go ahead and do the pick a card. I'm going to pull in the extended some more traditional rider weight. Like I'll pull this one out. I'll pull some more out for your love interest. I'm going to clarify the hero font, the world card, the emperor, everything. We're going to clarify. We're going to dig a lot deeper. I'm going to sh pull the Shacy Prism Universal Tarot. If you're interested in purchasing these, they're available for pre-sale, okay, pre-order. They're available probably within this next month. I was hoping they'd be in here by now, but um, they're not. But they, they should be any time now. We're on the final production of it. And they're available for purchase down below if you're interested, okay? But I'm going to pull some of these in the extended as well as the Romance Angels, of course. And my old Enchanted Tarot I've had for about 28, 30 years. And we're going to dig a lot deeper. So let's get into the pick a card now. For Taurus, please. And their love interest. For Taurus and their love interest. I already pre-shuffled these, but I'm just going to give it another quick shuffle. For Taurus and their love interest, please. Okay, you ready? Three cards, please, spirits. Three cards for Taurus and their love interest. Whoa, okay. You take the first three from there. One, two, and three. And I'm going to pull these other two in the Vimeo because they were meant to come out, obviously. Let's go ahead. And I'm probably going to have to wear my glasses for these because they are so small. Don't forget to subscribe and share and please hit that thumbs up. It means the world. Thank you. Okay, if you pick card number one, one, two, and three. Card number one. You ready? Okay. Embrace those around you. This is a time of great spiritual growth for you, making it even more important to surround yourself with those who love you and share your beliefs. Be willing to accept help from others. You could find comfort in traditional solutions or your heart may long to try out new ideas. 
okay? So for those of you who picked card number two, you ready? Ten of thought. A situation that's been troubling you has come to an end. That's good. You know what? Makes perfect sense because that goes with the world card for your love interest. And again, this can be vice versa. They could crisscross over about the completion. That's is what exactly what the second card is saying. A situation that's been troubling you has come to an end on your side. Going to a place of peace and calm. And you can breathe a sigh of relief. Peace and calm. With the challenging times behind you, behind you. Oh yeah, it's coming, it's coming. Yay. You can now move on. It's important to fully let go at this juncture. Someone in your life may now finally be free of his, her addictions or codependency issues. So if you were in a codependent relationship or you had an addiction or your person had an addiction that you were with previously, maybe you split up, whatever the case may be, doesn't matter you're moving to a place of peace and calm and you're letting the old things go bye bye in the past <whistles> not looking back Taurus not looking back you're moving forward awesome if you're picked card number three this one's for you helper of abundance although you have a lot to do it's important that you get organized first once planning is complete, you can roll up your sleeves and get to work. Your garden angels surround you and are ready to help out. This card also indicates a very loving, kind, and loyal friend. Someone with a big heart, a quick wit, and endless patience. That person could be you. Helper of Abundance. Okay, Taurus, let's go ahead. Oh, I want to pull one Chasey Tarot. Okay, one Chasey Prism Tarot for you. Now, when I meditated on this deck, I meditated for the common feelings between both of you, you and your love interest, how you're feeling about each other, any uh, outcome, and we're going to see what's going on. What's going on, spirits? What's going on for Taurus and their love interest, please? What does Taurus need to know? How does their love interest feel about them? What is the outcome for Taurus and their love interest? What is going on? Oh, my. That flew out. Peace and calm. Double clarification from Shacy Prism Universal Tarot. You're moving, both of you. This is the mutual interest between the two of you. Peace and calm. And the other card said it too. Three cards from three different decks cannot be wrong. Mm. One more. Now I've got to pull another one. Then we're going to go to the extended. I promise. All right. For Taurus and their love interest, please, spirits. Oh, for heaven's sakes, they're coming out in clumps and droves. Support. Ask and give support. Okay, we're going to pull the rest of those in the extended too. I'm sorry, it's just I'm so bar far behind on these readings. And I can't stop because i got to keep going. Because every time I dig deeper, it just... I will see you at the extended if this resonated for you. If this is where you leave me, I will see you next time. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. That will notify you of further readings down the road or any live readings if I ever get to do any. I'm sorry, I just don't seem to get enough time. But go ahead and click that bell anyway because then when I do do one, you will get notification. I usually try and give at least an hour's notice, okay? I know that's not much, but that seems to be how it is right now these days. And I would love to see you on my social media, my Facebook, my Instagram. That's all down below. That'd be so awesome. And private readings. Love doing those for you. Getting to know you guys on a one-to-one -one basis. You could check that out down below at shacy.com. S-H-A-S-I-E.com. Thank you, Taurus. I will see those of you this resonated for it. The Vimeo. Bye for now.